Evans. <laughs> Mona is a student here at Orcas Island High School. She is a contributing writer to the school newspaper and a young advocate unafraid to use her voice to make us aware of what the future should look like. Mona got in touch with us in the nick of time to point out that our accessibility logo for parking signs was about to be painfully out of date and that the county should be using the new energetic logo being phased in at the state level. Do we have the sign there? Up to speed. All right. Oh, you can't see it over there. There we go. All right. Okay. Uh, Grace Grantham, your advocacy and educational efforts touch our lives every day. They are visible in wider store aisles, accessible public restrooms, and even the push button door opener at Orcas Food Co op. As the work on Prune Alley began to wind down, and the staff started to talk about this ribbon cutting. I asked our public works director, Colin Huntimer, how the raised crosswalks and detectable warning surface street corners, this is for people who have visual impairment, came to be part of the plan. He said it was Grace. With her unfailing focus, attending countless East Sound Planning Review Committee meetings, and fiercely insisting that people understand what it means to build an accessible community. We know we have more work to do, but thank you, Grace, for not giving up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.